e4, knight f6. I would say that even Chuk, for example, is playing this move. Many other strong players. I don't understand. Even now, uh, Mamidyarov played against me in the... It was uh, Blitz, I think. In Blitz he played against me. Or no, no, it was actually not Blitz. It was Rapid Chess. Rapid Chess now and the mind games in Beijing just came now from there. And I had fantastic advantage with White. So... I think I somehow they simply like to suffer these people. Actually, I, I lost that game with Mamidyarov, but uh, that, the advantage was really huge, and it's easy to obtain this advantage. Uh, maybe sometimes pe people, they simply tired of playing these main openings, so that's why they use the selection, where they feel they don't have to really uh, prepare, they just play. And uh, if we are prepared against them, then it's good. Then we have can get even against very strong players advantage. E5, knight d5, d4, d6, knight f3. d4, d6, knight f3. Let's examine now the line with c6, on which we should play c4, knight c7. Here, uh, white has pleasant choice. Uh, here either we can take immediately on d6, which is good move, or, for example, we can play h3 here. Of course, on e5 we would take this knight on e5. This is the idea. And on knight d7, I would already ask my students to repeat uh, the answer. They should already know by this time the answer. Of course, this is the move knight f3 here. Uh, knight f3, in order to keep the pieces on the, over the board, on the board, g6, knight c3, bishop g7, bishop e2, short castle. Bishop f4. Now e5 was in the air, so bishop f4. Now it's good enough to control this e5 square. Knight e6, bishop e3, queen c7, queen c1. Okay, this is one of the possible setups for white. This was played by Anand against Shuba in 99. Just one possibility. What I will give you, it's uh, after knight c7, it's even easier for, to remember, it's just to take on d6 e d6 and bishop d3. Uh, clearly, idea for white is to take the control over this diagonal, that the bishop doesn't get to f5. Uh, that's why here either he accepts that the bishop doesn't have good development, either he goes for bishop g4 immediately. If bishop g4 now, then after short castle, bishop e7, uh, We play knight bd2. The point is that after h3 we would like to take on f3, of course, with the knight. So knight bd2. Now, if uh, short castle now, then after queen c2, it's not very clear how to defend this pawn. Even he defends h6, then after h3, bishop h5, he can play g4 and win this pawn after bishop g6. Um, that's why here on... Uh, Short castle, he goes here normally. Uh, after uh, he goes uh, after knight bd2, he goes knight d7 in order to first of all to have this knight f6. Knight bd2, he goes knight d7 to have the idea of knight f6. We go queen c2, knight f6. And now I will use uh, as example the game of Rodriguez against Tigran Petrosian. Rodriguez says Pelis Amador with White in 1978 on Olympiad. White played b3, bishop h5, knight h4, very b3, bishop h5, knight h4, very strong move. Bishop g6, and now knight f5. You see, white didn't uh, take on g6. He forces black to take the bishop, uh, to take the knight on f5. And like this, we avoided the fact that he can open the h file after a g for his pieces. So after bishop f5, bishop f5, short castle, knight f3. Already can we can say that we have advantage. g6, bishop h3, also very nice move, taking very important squares. Maybe the only squares <laughs> which black could develop his queen to d7. 
and this is clear advantage for white. Just few more moves. It went the game went rook e8, rook e1, bishop f8, bishop g5, h6, rook e8, knight e8, bishop e3, queen a5. Just to see how the classics are playing. G3, bishop queen h5, bishop g2. Advantage is very clear. White managed uh, to control uh, this two bishop advantage. Of course, how to play these positions for win, it's uh, another issue, but I can say that usually this is the attack on the king, uh, on the queen side, is b4, b5, and opening the field for the two bishop. Um, another move for white here, instead of bishop g4, 7, Another setup is just simple for black. Uh, another setup is bishop e7. Um, then again we do the same short castle. And let's say they go here d5 now. It's more or less similar to the uh, to the Petrov defense type of position. On this, on d5 we take cd5, knight d5. And uh, play for this typical situation with knight c3, short castle, rook e1. On bishop g4, we play h3, bishop h5. Now we have this tactical idea of knight d5, cd5, rook e5 attacking very fast everything. And if bishop g6, and after bishop g6, hg, queen b3, suddenly happens that White is taking this pawn on d5 by force. Actually, this is important line. Otherwise, okay, we would be better. But like this, we just secure a clear pawn for white. Um, uh, what uh, to be conclude this move, uh, c6. Actually, on c6, as we see, uh, we were very fast with c4. And e takes d6. We secure this uh, pawn structure with e d6. After which we finish developing this bishop d3, and uh, what we want to put our setup is we, if he doesn't do anything important, then we go for short castle h3, knight c3, and nicely have very good advantage in the center. Uh, if he is uh, trying to play bishop g4, then uh, we will play with knight d2, so in order to take on f3 with the knight. If he goes with bishop e7. And later with d5, then we go for short castle, cd5, knight d5, knight c3, and attacking very fast this uh, d5 uh, uh, square. And the general conclusion, white has good play.